Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues. I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Today we're finally getting to it. We're doing it. Death of Superman. I thought you were going to say World War Hulk. I was like, we already did that. No, that's done, yeah. And nobody's asked for this. I was going to say, <laughs> nobody asked for it. No, it's more like, like, when are we going to get it? Right. Like, when are we going to get to Death of Superman? Right. Because it's so iconic. It is. It's, it, it's a defining moment. Some might even say it's the most defining moment in Superman's history. Uh, Batman would certainly say that. <laughs> there's some book... I don't Batman remember, would also laugh. I don't remember what book it was, but some, there's, there's some issue like back in the day where Batman says, like, Superman, the last time you inspired anybody was when you died. <laughs> And everyone was like, what? And the comic collective community was just like, was what that? a bird! <laughs> was that turning Dark Knight? No. It spans five different books, and it's written and drawn by four or five different people. Uh, this one is written by Dan Jurgens, Jerry Ordway, Louise Simonson, and Roger Stern, most of whom are really, really great writers. Oh, really? It's like, I have no idea. Yeah, I haven't heard sort of any of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it's because they're not writing nowadays. No, I mean, some of them are, but like, it's pretty cool. And the four pencilers, we got John Bogdanov, uh, Tom Grummet, Jackson Geis, and Dan Jurgens. Dan Jurgens is like, he's the guy who ends it, and he's huge Superman Is he artist. the best? Okay. Is he the best? <laughs> Out of all of them? Out of those four. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, he's the best ever. I'm just saying, yeah. like, out of these four. Amazingly enough, I mean, you can, you imagine, like, today in the New 52, like, they're canceling, like, you know, like, they, you know, when the New 52 came out, there were 52 new titles, and now there's, like, nine. <laughs> uh, back then, there were four Superman titles. There was Superman, Man of Steel, Superman, Action Comics Superman, and The Adventures of Superman. <laughs> this also bleeds into Justice League. So we got five titles. Got five books. <laughs> Written and drawn by four different people. It makes sense that it would be Justice League. How could you have Superman die without it? Without like, Justice League even League trying? It. Yeah. yeah. And this is a fun time during DC's history because like everything is lame. Like, <laughs> uh, during the, uh, There's an old story that I think I've told before, but like oh, I'll boy. tell it here uh, because it's funny. Uh, back when like these guys used to meet and talk about like what they were gonna, oh, they they planned their Superman stories because they were like four different titles, right? And in one big room, and they had like a whiteboard that said like Man of Steel, Adventures of, Action Comics, and just and they wrote like what happens, and like each writer got to like put in like, and then Bibbo Babaski gets to have a story in this one, like you know Bibbo Babaski was just a like a bartender who's like a like a longshoreman who like is like a big Popeye. No character, okay. and he's just like, "Hey, soups, you're doing a great job." Yeah. Like it's weird character, but okay. like that uh, is weird. Yeah, just oh, don't you remember Superman's longshoreman favorite, like one-eyed character? He wasn't one-eyed. He was just like, "Oh yeah, Superman." Was he's he pointed. like, was he yeah. like shipwreck from? Uh, no, he was like much more. Joe. He he was more like he looked more like Marv. Okay. If, if shipwreck oh, wow. or Marv. Okay, but yeah. he had like that. Seaman's cap, right? That yes. captain's hat. Because, mm-hmm. of course, he was the captain, captain of the boat. Yes, he did. Point? I think he did. <laughs> when Superman died, he had a story where, like, he was like, I'm just going to do the best I can like Superman did. And he would wear a Superman t-shirt and then, like, go around, like, give sandwiches to the homeless people. And, like, Aww. and like there's this woman who... They were raw fish sandwiches. No one liked them. Well, I caught it myself. <laughs> no, he, uh... And at one point, he, like... Oh, my God. Okay. He, he comes upon, um... When he's handing out food, mm-hmm. he comes. He, he's of course at the docks, right. and okay. there's this old woman, and she's crying because she had a bunch of puppies and she didn't have any food. So she put them in a bag and threw them in the river. And she's like, "Oh, I didn't realize you were going to bring food, or I wouldn't have killed all my puppies." So then Bibbo dives Jumped into the water, the water yeah. and he pulls up the bag, and only one puppy survived, oh and it was a white God. puppy that he named Krypton after Superman's planet. And when he got, like, his his license made, they ran out of space, and so it was Crypto. And so Bibbo has his own dog that he named Crypto. He, like, because Superman, because Bibbo didn't the- know that Crypto had, like, was a dog that Superman had that was a character. Oh. And it was their way of kind of, like, r- like real-worlding Crypto. <laughs> That, like, I can't that believe Crypto that... was the last survivor of his family. He, right. It was a cute story. It's like, look, you Bizarre. can have six letters... For your license, you can't have seven. No, that's just unheard of. Nope. Any animal with seven <laughs> names with seven letters in their name, you're they probably just made a mistake or something. No, he says like, hey, it's like eight cents a letter, and yeah. <laughs> it gave me like four dollars. And what am I gonna do? Yeah. It was silly, but I really liked that story, and I was like, 
Okay. Aside from all the other puppies dying. And that no, was really it's... rough. And of course he drew them all, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. And it, like, they all died, and they were all dead, and you're like, no. Oh. And then like one of them like starts yapping, and like pulls itself out of like the bodies of his dead puppies. <laughs> <brothers. laughs> Which, dead. Now well, that I think about the, other, the other puppies created this air bubble thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that was really rough. No, that, that is, that that is that horrific. It was a harsh story. And yeah. that dog but, is like, like crying. It's funny, it's... because like that's a, that's a big oh, holdover. Gone. Yeah. From the the era of Superman was that like we would get random glimpses into the lives of regular people mm-hmm. who we would never meet again or right. deal with in any way, mm-hmm. and it was like why like why are we meeting these people? I'm reading a Superman book. Why is Mitch this disaffected son of a like of, of a divorced household? Complain like why is he getting page real estate here? Like Blue Beetle is unconscious and possibly dead, and we meet Mitch and why he hates his dad. Like so shut up. To flesh out the they universe. were and it was really weird. It's like that Spider Man book where it was that yeah. couple in the car in the, in the, in the Volkswagen. Yeah. Move the car, George. I mean, and it's you know what? Like as a kid, I fell for it hook line sticker. <laughs> um, so all right, well, it's because you're like, oh man, these people are being affected by what's going on. Yeah. What's going to happen to Mitch? By the way, the end of the book, we never fucking find out. Who cares about Mitch? <laughs> so, uh, but we'll get to Mitch. The, first, the opening of it is Doomsday shows up. And Doomsday is... Has Doomsday been in books before? Never. I've okay. never seen Doomsday before. Doomsday. We don't know who he is. All we see is a gloved hand smashing itself against, like, corrugated steel. And what looks like maybe Wolverine claws are coming out of his gloves. Oh. But it's actually, like, bones are blasting out of his flesh. Oh. There's no explanation for or context for Doomsday at all. Nor do they even say who he... They just say Doomsday is coming. Who says Doomsday is coming? The narrator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they. Who's yeah. talking? Yeah, nobody. It's literally the... And the narrator... Somewhere else, Doomsday is coming. Okay. Unrelentingly, Doomsday is coming. Unbelievably, Doomsday is here. Because he crashes the door. Right. Weird. So Doomsday finally breaks himself out of this... Like, Doomsday is somewhere on Earth. Yeah, he's in like a steel box somewhere under the ground. Okay. Or, yeah, on Earth. And he breaks free and he just gets himself into the, the forest and he meets like woodland creatures and murders them. Because well, he's Doomsday. Yeah. Right. So Doomsday is basically... Okay, so the story here is... like we got two stories here. we got everything else and what Doomsday is doing. Okay. Uh, Doomsday is breaking himself out of this prison. He's wearing this crazy outfit. Now, you've probably seen Doomsday before. Thanks yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, and that does not look this, like Doomsday. This green-suited dude with pipes uh-huh. doesn't look anything like Doomsday. Oh. Well, well, I assume those are restraints. They are restraints. Uh, and it's really weird. Uh, and I actually kind of like the Doomsday look. Before he becomes like a bony monster. Right. So then we have the Superman story because, oh, I was actually telling the story about how they write all the Superman stories, like Bibbo. Right. <laughs> uh, at the end of every meeting, some jackass who was one of the writers would always, because it's on a dry erase marker board, would write, and then Superman dies <laughs> at the end of the story. And they would all go, ah! <laughs> anyway, and then. Uh, Lois and Clark That's was really funny. Out. Yeah, it's a cute little way for them to like keep up morale and play around. Right. Because they're like, we're never going to kill Superman. He's unskillable, you know, whatever. And he's also like the most popular character we make. Right. Except for Batman. Freak out. Yeah, who they would freak out. And uh, Lois and Clark was coming out, mm-hmm. and they were going to marry Lois and Clark off, and they were like, we can't. Are you talking about the comic or the TV show? The TV show. show. Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Yes, yeah. thank you. On ABC. You know. Starring Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher. Yeah. Okay. God, that show was terrible. Did I you know Dean Cain? Shit out of that show. So did I. Every episode. They're coming up with their ideas, and Lois and Clark are getting married on the show. I and uh, they weren't married at that point. No. In the comics, not. okay. Yeah, and they couldn't figure out, like, what, how to make it work, and they thought, and then they wrote at the end, and then Superman dies. They went, yeah, fuck Superman, and fuck this stupid show and how it's ruining everything. <laughs> Let's just stop making it. And then they went, you know what? How about then Superman dies? Yeah, what if Superman did die? And they're like, yeah, well, maybe he did. What if we kill him? I mean, we, can you imagine? And like they just and they just keep taking the joke farther and farther. Okay, I'm going to the editor. I'm telling him we're killing Superman. We're killing Superman. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I must be out of my mind. We're taking our ideas from Lois and Clark, the new adventure of Superman. We might as well just kill Superman, right? Sounds great. And they're like, oh, okay, Greenland. Okay, oh, of course you think it's a great idea. We're going for it then. All right. And uh, how about just a monster comes out of space and just beats Superman to death? How about that? That sounds awesome. Oh, yeah, of course you think it was awesome. Okay, let's write it. Let's give it to four different writers and artists and make it happen. Okay. And then it becomes the best-selling comic book of all time. And they're like, oh, shit. Because that's really that's the whole book. It's just oh no, how did we get here? 
So this fucking That's a runaway train right yeah. there. So this green suited monster named Doomsday just smashes shit. The whole book. And Superman is like kind of a member of the, Just- the Justice League, but the Justice League blows because it's the 90s and Batman's like too fucking busy getting his back smashed for him to be on the Justice League. <laughs> which actually takes place after Death of Superman. Oh. Superman dies and then they're like, all bets are all off. Right. Batman. We can kill anybody. We can kill or paralyze, or paralyze anybody. Or ruin anyone. Yep. And so, then we'll just bring him back. Fuck it. Right. No one's safe. Yeah. But, so, but they didn't They didn't want you to think that they were bringing him back, though. And this was one of the first stunts. Because, like, in Crisis on Infinite Earths, Barry Allen gave his life to save the multiverse. And he died mm-hmm. in 87. It's 94. Right. He's been dead for a while. Uh, and they had no intention of bringing him back. So they're like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. We killed Barry Allen. We killed fucking. Yeah, and well, and like these guys knew he was coming back. Right. They knew. They were like, of course. And people, they didn't expect anyone to flip the sh- their fucking minds. Like right. they were just like, yeah, he'll die. And people would be like, oh, well, that's weird, but okay, he'll be back. And then fucking, it was in Time Magazine and right. Newsweek. And well, they, they also like, like hyped the shit out of it. Well, like so, like you reap what you sow, man. Like, yeah. If you sell black armbands, <laughs> that came after. Like, that was the last issue. Superman seventy five was when it was in a poly bag with the bleeding s and the armbands and the posters. But well, that's because he actually died in that episode. Well, he did yeah. die, and they made. Well, I said they made For such issue. a big deal yeah. about it. But like, that, well, well, that would be. They, but if they went to all that trouble and did yes. all this marketing, and then he's just gonna come back, like, why would they do right. that? Why would I care? Yeah. Why should I buy it? Yeah. yeah. Well. Uh, uh, <laughs> So like you could you can't really blame people no. for thinking that it was for real. No, it's true. Especially and like, considering that no one at that point had come back from dying. No, and like I didn't read Superman back then, but I read this, mm-hmm. and then I read Superman for a couple of years. Oh wow! And I was like, and it's because you be- want to see him come back, right? Like, no, oh, this I was like, well, after it died, they were like, Super- the adventure continues in the next, issue. and I'm like, what next issue? Right, he's dead. Right. And then they kept the books going. Where like Lois is sad, and like his parents are sad, and like the 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 Daily Planet is sad, and you're like, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> this isn't a comic. Well, For like, Christ's sake, this. someone throw a punch. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy, get really upset. Yeah, no, hey, Perry. <laughs> well, like, will Jimmy's career as Turtle Boy turn out? That's why I'm reading Man of Steel. <laughs> uh, Turtle Boy was a fucking alter ego on TV that Jimmy Olsen played. It doesn't matter. So, uh, so you said the Justice League sucks. Who Justice League sucks. Who's on the Justice, on the Justice League? League? Well, I'm if glad you asked that. Uh, the Justice League is made up of uh, fire and ice. Uh, fire is a uh, Brazilian superhero who has the ability to produce green fire like the Human Torch. Except uh, it's green. Except it's green. It's dumb. And uh, ice is a uh, like like Ice Man. Yeah. Okay. Except like she's except she doesn't make her whole body into ice. Oh. She, she wears this like silly like nineties sure. outfit. Is this ice. fire? No, that's Maxima. Oh, who the f- <laughs> who is Maxima? Maxima's an alien. Uh. Maxima's interesting because Maxima is an alien from a, a galaxy that's not too dissimilar from like where Krypton was. Okay, and her people are similar to Kryptonians. Okay, and she's like from a warrior race, not unlike like kind of what Wonder Woman's become. Right. Mm-hmm. And she was betrothed to, like, their greatest champion, and she's like, nah, he's kind of a wuss. I heard that Superman is really cool. So she goes to Earth, and she's like, hey, Superman, let's throw down, and that'll be kind of like our mating ritual. Superman's (laughs) like, get the hell out of here, you crazy broad, what are you doing? Like Red Sonia, like, I'll only sleep with a man who can defeat me. Yeah, exactly! Who else? I saw Booster Gold Oh, Booster Gold's on there, Booster Gold. We know only by reputation. Uh, yep, he's from the future, he has his power suit. What, like, Iron Man? Kind of. Only it's, like, more dumb. Oh. Because it's like cloth and shit. Oh. So and he can't, he, like, take hits? Well, it's cloth. He can take hits, but not hits from Doomsday, because they oh. tear up his costume and shit. Oh, wow. Ultimately, uh, Doomsday knocks the crap out of Booster Gold to the point where he ruins his suit. Oh. And he's like, that's it for Booster Gold. My suit's broken. And it's from the future, so you can't fix it. Oh, so, so Booster Gold's no longer a hero after that? After that, for a little while. And yeah. then they, like, they, of course, yeah, they, they, like, they call Look, some scientists in Star the Labs, past. and they're like... They may not be able to, like, fix it perfectly, but, like, maybe they'll just stick a pole on it, and then he'll get struck in a lightning storm, and then he can still travel. That's... <laughs> Guy Gardner was um, an unpopular choice to become a Green Lantern by the Guardians oh. on Oa, and they call him Gar- Guy, and he's this douche, and he's this pompous, arrogant knob who's, like, always got something to prove... <laughs> And he's just like, ah, and he's always like bucking authority. Oh. He's just like, he's, he's what DC thought was going to be edgy. Yeah. And then like, 
they killed Superman, and they were like, "God, stupid, moving on." <laughs> like, look at Azrael Batman. Like, he's slaughtering people with his gauntlet <laughs> knives. In any case, uh, guy, wait, wait, we're not done with oh, Guy Gardner. Oh, we're still so, Guy Gardner. Uh, eventually, the the Guardians are like, "Yeah, Guy Gardner sucks. I'm going to take away his ring." Oh. So, but then he like then he gets Sinestro, the other Green Lantern villain. Yeah. The, his yellow ring. And so he's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna be Guy Gardner. That's my name, I'll just, that's be me, I'll be my superhero name. Like, Guy Gardner. And he has Sinestro's ring, and he knows how to use, like, a power ring. Okay. So he just uses that. So he's like, I'm Guy Gardner, with, like, a power <laughs> ring, too. Like, and Green Lantern's like, what the hell are you still doing here, Guy? Get out of here. He's like, nope, I got a power ring. And you're weak to it, because it's oh. yellow. And, and Hal's like, what the fuck, man? So they put Guy Gardner on the fucking team. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just use a, a terror ring. So he's got yeah, a he's yellow fine. ring, but he's a good guy. He's a good guy, yes. That doesn't seem really he well. He uses the power of fear. fear. Except that they really weren't playing that up back then. Oh, it was just a yellow it was ring. It just a yellow ring. Oh. Uh, so <clears throat> Guy changed his outfit to jeans, boots, and a sweet leather jacket <laughs> that he tucks into his jeans. With and, this metal belt. Oh with God. a metal belt. And he gets his ass fucking handed to him. I don't see... I was flipping through this. I didn't see any constructs. Why is he not making constructs oh, with his ring? Uh, because he's a toolbox. Like Mostly he makes like fists and like hands. Oh, okay. Uh, That's lame. He's so lame. And like Doomsday beats him to the point where he can't see. It really seems like Doomsday should do that with one punch. Yeah. Oh, he does. No, 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 no. actually, I think he Done. steps on his fucking face. Oh, it's shit. fucking awesome. Okay. All right. Well, so who else we got? This is everyone. Oh, Blue Beetle. Okay. Blue Beetle's like the Batman of the team. Blue okay. Beetle was—he's a tech wizard. His, te- his name's Ted Cord. Ultimate, like, rest in peace, Ted. Is he a billionaire? Uh, he's smart. He has Cord. He is yes. He has Cord Industries. Okay. And uh, like everyone. <laughs> like Wayne Enterprises and uh, you know he's Blue Beetle he's just really good at tech and he put on a Blue Beetle suit and fights crime and shit they uh, they travel via his big Blue Beetle that they fly around in I'm assuming that's oh. not a Volkswagen Beetle no it's a big bug got it okay um, jo- Dooms actually defeats the whole Justice League while Superman's giving an interview on TV like at a school oh wow like Superman goes to a local high school and gives an interview on like WGBS. Right. Why does Doomsday care? About what? About defeating, defeating Superman. The he Justice doesn't. League? He doesn't. He is just breaking shit. Right. He's just like a mad animal. Yep. He's just... He kills this deer. <laughs> and uh, oh, Poor deer. I know. And then he sees the, 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 the Blue Beetle mobile thing. Oh. And he like throws a tree at it. And, like, knocks it out of the sky. And then the Justice League's like, This looks like a job for the Justice League! And then they all just get their asses kicked. <laughs> So um, he just he sees things and he wants to destroy them. Yes, it's almost like That's he's bred for destruction. Okay, and he does it with literally a hand tied behind his back. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. Well, how how cool is Doomsday? <laughs> he's so cool and badass. That he could defeat the Justice League with a hand tied behind yes. his back. Well, One handed. Wow. Single handedly, you might say. <laughs> if he's gonna kill wow, Superman, how he has to be that strong. Yes, and like it's really weird because. I would love... Like, this is one of those things... This is another one of those books where I'd love for them to modernize it. Mm. I would love to see Wonder Woman fight Doomsday. Oh. Now, later well, on... in New 52? Later, they do. Oh, my God. He catches a bird out of bed air and just crushes it? <laughs> no, he doesn't well, catch that's it. That's when you lands on his oh, hand. On his when you first see Doomsday, you're not sure what he's going to do. Is Doomsday... He's given an interview. Yeah, he's given us an interview about the Justice League. Because right. technically, Superman's kind of still part of the Justice League. Okay. But they're um, so lame, he doesn't want to be seen with them. So <laughs> Himself. He's so busy. It's it's actually kind of fascinating because if you if you take because this was written in ninety four, right? Okay. Um, a, a a wanton act of terror is committed mm-hmm. on American soil, and the leader of this organization is busy talking to school children when it happens, <laughs> and so it's actually kind of neat how it parallels. How prescient it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then and of course Bloodwind. <laughs> Uh, we forgot about Bloodwind. We forgot about Bloodwind. It's easy to forget about Bloodwind. The world forgot about Bloodwind. What's his power? Bloodwind's power is that he's secretly Martian Manhunter. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Martian Manhunter is really powerful, right? Yes. He, like, Martian Manhunter is green stuff. Superman, but a book of matches can defeat him. Because, like, he's really, really susceptible to fire. Oh. Um, Bloodwind is from the Bloodstone, which was created by a bunch of slaves during, like, the 1800s, who, like, formed a blood pact and made a bloodstone, and, like, their energies went into the stone, and whoever finds it will, like, 
use the power to like avenge these poor people who were killed on this plantation or something. It's really weird and really dumb. And Martian Manhunter decides to like he gets the bloodstone okay. and then he decides like I guess I'll just be Bloodwind then. Wait, so Martian Manhunter becomes Bloodwind? Yes. And then later on he's like, oh Martian Manhunter. Yeah, it was me the whole time. I assume you don't know at first that he was Martian No, it's a great mystery. Who's Bloodwind? Like, Bloodwind shows up to the Justice League and he's like, I should join. And they're like, who are you and what are your powers? And he's like, I can shoot ray beams out of my eyes. And, like, I can call upon the spirits of the dead and use their power to to amplify my strength. And I can also disappear, turn invisible, and, like, fly. I assume it was, I can call upon these ghosts to make you feel guilty. Yeah. (laughs) So Bloodwind is dumb, and he's in this book. And throughout this issue, throughout this series, people are like, who's Bloodwind? And, in fact, when Blue Beetle gets the, the shit kicked out of him, um... In this book? Yeah. Right before he does, Bloodwind is thrown through, like, a reactor, and, like, it catches fire, and Blue Beetle sees Bloodwind as he really is. I guess, like, what happened was, uh, when Bloodwind is knocked unconscious, he, like, goes unconscious, and, like, he reverts back to Martian Manhunter. Oh. So, but Blue Beetle's like, I see him, and I know who Bloodwind truly is! He's actually... And then Doomsday grabs him, and then beats him into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> from which he will not awaken until after Superman has been dead for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a great, like, funeral issue where Blue Beetle wakes up. How okay. fantastically soap opera-ish. It's very soap opera yeah. I know who it is! The other thing... It's... Dun, 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 oh, dun, not only that, I mean, like, even, like, Superman's time. interview on, uh, with the, with the TV station in the school, they're talking about, like, violence and how, like, isn't, like, what you're doing, like, isn't superheroing, like, just perpetuating the stereotype of wanted acts of violence and, like, just violence for the sake of violence, and he's like, no, and while, like, Doomsday's beating the shit out of the Justice League. Mm. So it's like a commentary on comic books. Yes, it is. Yeah. Which is weird, because it's also, like... Classic comic books. Yeah, do they not have communicators? Like they can't be like, no, man, we need some help. No, they didn't. They didn't think of the blue, the the invisible Bluetooth technology <laughs> that Avengers incorporated. <laughs> Stork, those things are still coming. Really, we gave you a Bluetooth before we left. Sure, Cap, Booster no. Gold. Before he loses his suit, he like gets his. He like turns this crank on his arm, which like makes a shield. Okay, like a force shield. All right, and Doomsday punches him so hard he goes into this into the sky. Okay. And Superman like hears the commotion, so he like flies by and he catches Blue Be- uh, Booster Gold, and he's like, "What's going on, Booster?" And Booster's like, "It's like Doomsday has come, you know, like right. the, the end of days." And right. so Booster actually names him Doomsday. Oh, okay. Uh, so he had no being held by Superman in the sky. Yes, it's actually a fun looking image. So Doomsday great. doesn't talk. No, he says he eventually he starts to learn to talk. Right. He says things like "ha ha ha," and then later. Doomsday will go to a mall, like he'll smash his way into a mall, and on the... Of course, because, you know, we need to break a mall. Well, he's just destroying cities and shit, and as he's going through this mall, like, he finds a big screen TV that has a, like, a um, Hulk Hogan allegory character on it, <laughs> and he's like, come to Metropolis for the war bash, I'm gonna kick your ass! Oh like, no! And so he's like, Metropolis? <laughs> And then for no reason knows where it is and goes there. <laughs> well, he's just like, I get that he says Metropolis map. Metropolis. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what he does. I mean, Take like, I fifty seven. Yeah. <laughs> if I continue, if do and then, and then some old farmer shows up with like straw sticking out his mouth. All right, I don't want to take I-59. There's going to be all traffic on that. You want to take this back road and go around here? Cut fifteen this- minutes off your time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so the Justice League, like, a couple of them, like, get back on their feet and, like, try to fight Doomsday, but it's no use. Right. And then Superman just fights Doomsday until they die. And then the last issue, yeah, Superman... Yeah, it's like the, the whole rest of this book from this point forward is just a big it's just, fight. It's just one big fight. And Superman and Doomsday fight, and then at the end, he's like, Metropolis is where I draw the line. And then they fight and beat the shit out of each other. And then they all, they, they both wind up for one last big punch. And it's the punch that kills each other. And they both die. And that's the book. I love <laughs> Superman number 75. We're get, I want to get back, we'll get to the, the, other, to the middle shit. Uh-oh. But I wanted to like just get through the whole story, okay. which is Superman and this big gray mom, and, the, and this gray bony Hulk fight. And for, then like, both, how many issues? Yes. And then they both die. <laughs> but the last issue is great because it's, like, every page is a full fucking page. Oh, that's cool. Like, which I never really like noticed until counts. recently. They're just pages. Just boom. 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 Like... That's cool. 
just such like just full fucking panels, which probably means there's like eight pages of story in this book. Yeah. Like, who cares? Well, like they it, they spent several other issues setting it up. So yeah. Like, all right, now this last issue could just be yes. action. And this was action. Just, wow, I don't think there are any other panels in this fucking book. Yeah. I never noticed just that every single page yeah, is just a full... a full page of action. Oh, so Doomsday was about what? to hit Lois. Who is what? She's just hanging out right next to this fight? Yes. She, like, well, inches away. she's ace reporter Lois she's Lane. Not, like, she's not afraid of the story. Oh, my God. But she's also, like, either married to him or still with him. But she knows who he is. Like, right. She knows it's Clark Kent. And, like, I don't think they're married, but, like, they are together. And she's like, you know, Clark, what are you going to do? Do they talk at all about, like, where he came from? Like, who is this guy? What's happening? In this book, no. They basically yeah. say, like, I don't have time. Like, right. There's no, there's no time for this. Wow. Well. Luther Lewis. donates building. Well, because Lex Luthor's oh. dead at this point, oh. but his son, aka his younger cloned <laughs> body with his real consciousness inside of it, uh-huh. is uh, doing philanthropy and like trying to resurrect the Luther name and like building up Lex Corp and stuff. Which is why you see like so much Lex stuff in here. Like uh. even the even the fucking mall is a Lex mall. <laughs> nice. Actually, it's a Lex Mart. <laughs> um, when like they throw fucking Blue Beetle through that reactor and shit it's a LexCorp reactor and of course. You know, Lex everything no Wayne Tech whatsoever I also love Dan Jurgen's version of like Superman when he's about to die because he is just he looks like He-Man where he yeah. just he has hair on his chest he's just mm-hmm. the manliest man yeah there are more, awesome. th- more than a few nipples in this book <laughs> man nipples and I'm like what the hell? Like, a lot of shirtless Superman, but even, like, when Blue Beetle gets his ass kicked, like, he gets his ass kicked and his, like, shirt is torn, like, you see right nipples. around his nipple. And you're like, what? Weird. Weird. Well, it's a fan service for the ladies. Yeah, like, right? Yeah, don't, yeah. You wanna, don't, don't you ladies love man nipples? <laughs> uh, and yeah, they, they punch each other so hard, they both die. But Doomsday dies first... And, uh... Well, so that Superman can know that he won. Yes, because he says, like, is he dead? And she's like, you saved us all! And then he dies. And it's great, because, like, this is unfortunately a a trade, but the original book, it's this, and then you pull this out, and it extends to this. So you get, like, a three or four page, like, fold out. I love that this is is such a great picture, and Jimmy's in the back taking the wrong picture. Oh, yeah, he's taking the picture like, from behind. From the wrong fucking end. Yeah, like, like, it's going to look like shit. It's going to look like, oh, a, bl- a brown-haired lady is sad. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I you can't, can't see Superman! Face. I can't yeah. really tell why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then Superman dies. And that's it. And, but, like, and then there's a lot of shit in between that's like dumb, <laughs> what happened in the 90s kind of shit. Uh-huh. Here's Mitch and his crappy family. Like, Oh. It's just like, the dude with a backward hat and a skateboard. <laughs> yep. And a wife and a kid. That's weird. No, that's his mom. Oh, that's his mom. Okay. His mom and his new baby, his new baby sister. Oh, okay. And he's like, you know, Mom, like, why isn't there any soda in the fridge? And he's like, Dad always has soda in his apartment. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> uh, he's so much cooler. He do- lets me do whatever I want and eat junk food and stay up late. Stay up late. No wonder Dad left. Yep. And then she's such a sad. square mom. Yep. So, yeah. And then Doomsday shows up and then destroys their home. So this is just like real people are affected. Yes. By this. this is giving Superman the motivation to fight Doomsday to the death. Wow, that punch looked like it could have caved in a mountain. And Superman took. Maybe what do you know? Well, and Smith says, "Big deal. He's probably just too slow and stupid. He's not cool like Guy Gardner." Oh, he's like modern comic book readers. Yes, dumb. Yes. And then the house catches on fire cool. and the family is going to die and Superman's chasing after Doomsday. Right. And Superman assumes because there's four fucking members that just sleep still around. Like, you could save the family. And then they don't. And they all get their asses kicked and Superman has to abandon his quest to stop Doomsday to rescue this crappy family and the Justice League. Wait, how is the Justice League... Doomsday flew away. He jumped away. But jumped away. So why aren't they free to save the family? What because they're unconscious. Like, he knocks the uh, crap out of them. Well, because, uh, okay... Uh, they do a Care Bear stare to try to beat Doomsday. And this is when Doomsday still had, like, his hand tied behind his back, and he's in this cool suit. Okay. And uh, he also breaks the ribs of ice while she's there. Oh, shit. And uh, I love this line where he pushes Booster Gold... On, well, he's got that dude, He's got that force field. Uh-huh. Through a tree, but it knocks him out. He goes, no, where's the rest of the league? And I'm, and I'm like, the reader going, like, yeah. <laughs> like, where's Green Lantern and Wonder Woman and Batman <laughs> yeah, and Flash? The ones who could have where's Green anyone Man? useful? And I think there's actually a really cool moment in, like, after, like, Identity Crisis or something, when, in, like, modern comics, like, just before the New 52, 
when uh, they do this really cool like Justice League throughout time, where they established that Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman created the Justice League. And they were kind of behind it every step of the way. Okay. And like during this period, they stepped away to like suit, and they, and after this all happens, like Superman dies, and Batman is like looking at like the Justice League, and he just says like, "We need to build the league stronger next time." <laughs> so they're like retcon of like Batman being like, "What the hell was wrong with us?" <laughs> For letting these losers get in charge of the Justice League. Yeah. Never again. Never again will ice and fire be the last line of defense for humanity's sake. <laughs> so anyway, they do their like Care Bear stare, and like Guy Gardner can't see. But he's like, just point my ring in the right direction, and, and they all fucking, hit him at the same time. Yeah, and they hit him at the same time, and all it does is get rid of the restraint on his arm and oh, get the and and knock all the shit off of him. Wow. So then you see that like Doomsday is a monster, right? Well. And now he's all spiky, and it's his ball actually is tearing through his suit. Out of him. Yeah, yeah. Even though that should have been protruding through his yeah. suit before. Yeah, yes. the bones should have been sticking out the whole time. Yeah. Well, and later I think you was you realize the bones are a defensive mechanism. Like he grows the bones when he's like hurt in that area oh. to like help defend against any like outside threat or you know, okay, or pain. Do they ever explain? Doomsday? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they but do. But not until after Superman's already dead. Yeah, well, no, it's after Superman comes back to life. Oh, shit. Yeah. After Which Superman... is like years later, right? Yeah. Dan so it took a long like... time to explain this. All. But, like, he's got the suit with the eyepiece and everything. So, like, clearly they had some kind of idea of where he came from. No, they you didn't. Know? No. No, he was just made this way. <laughs> they were like, this would look cool. That's fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. That's really specific, like, details to add to a character, like, punching his way out of a vault. He's got this suit on. Yep. He he's restrained. Out these, he's restrained. Yeah, and then later they retcon. They must have had some notion of what he was. So. I don't think they had any fucking idea. I think they were like, and then Superman dies. No, no this we'll is just a out. story about how Superman dies. Yep, he just fights monsters. This is so dead. They had no idea. No, if Superman like... died and they wanted it to actually, like, have context, Lex Luthor would have done it. Right! And, like, and Lex Luthor's dead. Dead. At this yeah, it's point. a really weird time to kill Superman. It was, but they had to. They were like, like "Oh crap! Like, we gotta kill him now, or we'll get like, stupid sucks. Lois and Clark." Yeah, Lex Luthor is, is dead. dead. Yep. And so you can't get any of well, his like, traditional like characters or friends into the story. Yeah, that's so dumb. And Superman, er, and uh, Superman's unpopular. Yeah, well, I guess that explains it. Well, because he, he's not cool. Like, well, because Lex Luthor is dead, and because his friends are lame. Yeah, among other things, and he's not cool. Oh, so by the way, Mitch learns a lesson because, like, after the Justice League gets their ass kicked, mm -hmm. like Superman's the only one who can save him, so he calls right. for Superman. And right. He's like, Superman, save us! And Superman's like, "Damn it! God damn it!" Superman turns and says, "No." Uh, and then you get to see this wonderful image of, like, the fucking Justice League getting hauled away on stretchers. Yep, um, like from, like, the local from ambulance. The <laughs> where are you the taking him? The There's a moment where, like, he's, like, he's about to go, and Guy Gardner goes, Superman, wait, you better kick his ass, or I'm gonna climb off of this gurney, and I'll kick both of your butts. And it's like, you're not going anywhere, guys. Jesus, guys, shut up. You're not gonna do anything. Don't wuss out, Boy Scout. Put this doomsday guy in a pine box, or I'll crawl off of this gurney and kill, kick both of your butts. He's that, such a badass. Guy Gardner is such a badass that when Batman first met him, he punched him in the face and knocked him unconscious for like an hour. <laughs> Wait. Batman did it? Yeah. Batman knocked him out. Yeah. Okay. In like a second. Good. It's called, it was the other way around for a second. It's called, it's, it's called the one punch. It's my favorite <laughs> moment for Guy Gardner ever. Because Guy Gardner is like, they created the new, new Justice League and like they put Martian Manhunter in charge of it. Mm -hmm. But Batman was like their contact guy. And he's and Guy Gardner's like, and I'm in charge, and I'm gonna start blah blah blah. And Batman's like, you better get control of this fucking guy because this is, this is bullshit. And Guy Gardner's like, and here you pointy ear jackass, like I'll show you a thing or two. And Batman's like, Guy Gardner, you better step off. You better just just step off. And Guy is like, oh yeah, give it to me, give me give me your best shot. And like as he's saying shot, Batman punches him in the face, <laughs> and they just knocked out. And I think yes. the Beetle goes one punch, yes. <laughs> So nobody likes Guy Gardner. No. Nobody likes Guy Gardner. Oh, wow. Supergirl Except in the 90s. Yeah, it's not Supergirl. Oh. That's Matrix. Who the fuck is Matrix? Matrix is an alien. Who, who wears a Superman who, outfit. Who, who, actually she looks like a gray blob, but she shows the appearance of a pretty blonde and wears a Supergirl outfit. Oh. Uh, she's from another thing, and she like... Does she also have the powers equivalent of Supergirl? Yeah, she's like strong. She's 
kind of strong. She can fly. She can fly and shit. Yeah, she emulates the powers of Supergirl. But she's not Supergirl. And she's handled Lex Luthor. She is. Lex Luthor 2. Right. Lex Luthor clone. Who is with, yeah. with hair. Really Lex not Luthor. only has hair, he's covered in hair. Yeah. He's got hair and it wraps around his beard. Yeah. He's got hair everywhere. Yep. He's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's like Bizarro Lex Luthor. Yeah. He's good, and he has lots of hair, a big beard. Because Superman didn't destroy his hair. No, and it's hilarious, because like, I think it's a little bit of overcompensation, to be honest. Well, of course it's overcompensation, but I love the fact that this is actually Lex Luthor. Yeah, so and he's, he's banging this super chick, by the way. Well, he's banging yeah, Grey Blob. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> but, he, but he asks her to keep looking like Supergirl. Right. Of course. Yeah. And then, like, eventually he's going to lose, lose his hair again, and then he'll turn it. Yeah. By the way, like, Doomsday, she tries to stop him, the Supergirl Matrix. Oh, yeah? Doomsday Page just punches her once, and she turns back into, the, like, the gross blob. Oh, know, like, wow. And, of course, if you don't if you know that she's not Supergirl, and you're like, who the hell is Matrix? Right. You're like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what, why punch did she turn blob. You're like, <gasps> you, you punch the pretty right off her. Like, what <laughs> happened, man? So here's a question. Uh-huh. Um, would you bang a gray blob if it if, looked like if Supergirl? If it looked like Supergirl? Yes. Here's the thing. What strings are attached? Like, what do you mean? Well, is she like a sadistic lunatic who's like, okay, like halfway through she's going to turn into the gray blob? Is, what, no, no, no. She's just this character. Oh, well, yeah. Why not? I mean, she's a nice person. Like if she's, if cool. she's a nice person. Like, if she's cool, you know okay. what I mean? Right. I responded way too soon. <laughs> you were like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. none of that. Fuck I would bang a Supergirl. That. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I would. Oh, God. Here. She's still humanoid, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she and was her taking eyes the form. out of their sockets. Yeah. And her face, like, turns into mush when she gets... That's f- funny. She just shows up. She hits him in midair for, like, a second. Yep. And then he punches her once, and she's blown. And then they hit him with some kind of anti-aircraft gun. It's just, like, th- this is part of the Man of Steel story arc, where, like, okay. you know, they each... each, each writer had their own story going on and like there's like Professor Hamilton and Bibbo and they've got anti gravity belts that Superman gave them and like oh my God. they're gonna like, oh well like let's lend our hand into helping Superman and they hit Doomsday one time with a laser or something like that. Yeah. And then like whatever the hell her name is, Maggie Sawyer and the like Metropolis Police Department, like let oh, us shit. let Doomsday have it. It doesn't do any good. No, of course not. I also like the fact that they hit him with all this shit and Doomsday doesn't change. No. Like he doesn't have more bones. Yeah, he doesn't have more bones. You're just like, well, why not? Well, because it's supposed really to be a defense mechanism. Yeah. No, no, well, those are I also, have enough bones. Those are man-made lasers. They're not like Sinestro's ring or well, Bloodwind's eye beams. Well, I'm watching Superman beat the crap out of him. Yeah. And like, he's hitting him in the stomach. It's not like his stomach is growing bones. No. Later, Superman actually does wind up breaking one of the bones, and it really hurts Doomsday. Breaking one of what bones? Like one of those, like, his like knee protrusion. Oh, I mean, he breaks a few here. I yeah, suppose. and that kind of hurts. Yeah. But, he, up a little bit of blood comes out of his mouth. Yes. Yeah, but, but when he breaks the knee bone... Incidentally, that's, that's Doomsday really... like takes out a huge gash in Superman's yeah. midsection. Ooh. In Superman 75, it's gone. No, it's there. No, that's his leg. Oh, that is his leg. Whoops. Continuity. Look at this. This is an awesome picture. Holy I shit. love that image. I'm just like, yeah! I've never seen the big guy so fired up, says Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> you're, you're help, Jimmy. Again, your contribution is... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Yeah. So anyway, the backstory, all the middle stuff is just like who gives a shit. It's just a it's a very small snapshot of like what Superman books were like in the nineties, which is to say like bloated and like, way too yeah. way too plentiful. Like there's a lot of stuff going on. I I'm not really a fan of this. Of this art or of this story? I guess the story. Well, no. Like, who cares? It's just a big fight. It's just Superman well, fights a monster. Even just a big bullets, fight. Four like, all the shit that's in between. It's oh, like, yeah. It's really dumb. Well, they have to pad it out because they have four fucking titles yeah. to tell you. Well, they're like, if Superman dies, it has to be epic. But we didn't want to come up with, like, a really cool story. So it's just going to be a big fight. Well, it could also be... Extending it and making it longer with, like, an interlude where there's a family and a house that's right <laughs> Yeah. Well, it could it's, also be the Jurgens. Really wanted to do this thing where he's like I want to do a page right. per moment and in order for me to do that you guys are going to have to tell a couple more stories like you're going to have to pad it out mm-hmm. I don't have room in my in my book for content right they fight so hard they smash all the windows and then See, like, yeah. I don't know like even Just, if the entire book was like this where every page was a full spread picture. And if it looked, but if it looked like this, like if they told the right story, so I think dense. I think that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it would have been interesting. 
That no, that would be a graphic novel. That would have been every page was like one just one panel painting. Yeah, <laughs> Lexcam. Yep, it's even a Lexcam. Uh, what do you shoot on a Kodak? No, Lexcam. Lexcam. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't make it. Oh, the Lex Burger. <laughs> would you like more? Would you like uh, large Lex fries with that? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, some Lex sauce on the side. I'll have a Diet Lex. Uh, we only have Diet Wayne. Mm. Mm. Alright, I guess we'll take it. Okay, really quick. Doomsday is a weapon that the Kryptonians made. He's a genetic, what? He's a genetic weapon that the Kryptonians built. Okay. And then he killed everything. And they, like... He, it's almost like he is, like, a Kryptonian Noah story. Like, he was the flood that, like, ruined everything. <laughs> I was gonna oh, guess so. he was the super virus that, like, we bioengineered just, like... No, it's not ours, thankfully. It's not ours. Although Cadmus, the super science lab thing... Collects his body, and then one of the resurrected supermen uh, grabs Doomsday, and then puts him like he takes some cables and like uses his heat vision to fuse the cables to an asteroid, and then he hurls the asteroid into space. Oh! But then at the end of the issue, Superman or Doomsday's eyes open, and he starts laughing, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> He's still on alive. an asteroid. Doomsday is fucking alive. Yeah, it's trapped on an asteroid. Later. Of course he is. Of course he is. You yeah. can't just now, have the villain that killed Superman and just be dead forever. Now, by the way, the best part of that is that Doomsday wakes up. You know, he's strapped to the asteroid, and the asteroid lands on Apocalypse. Oh, And Darkseid cool. is like, hey, there's this thing on my planet, and it's fucking up everything. Can you get it out of here? And Superman's like, no, you're Darkseid. It's Apocalypse. How about you deal with that yourself? But of course, it's like, no, nah, I can't do that. So then, like, he gets some crazy gear, like an energy sword, and, like, he wears, like, like a gambit mask thing, and he and, like... Is this also in the 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's when um, Superman finds out that Doomsday was made on, on, on Krypton. Okay. And he... And How does he find that out? I don't understand. Uh, well, Dark side has the technology to find that out. Wave Rider tells him... Who's a wave rider? Wave rider is like an interdimensional dude who can like travel through time and space on waves, and he's just like, "Yo, Superman!" No, he's like the awesome Silver Surfer. He's almost like the Silver rider. Surfer, only he's like more made of like energy that's kind of like coming off of him and shit. Mm-hmm. He's also gold instead of silver. Okay, well, does he actually that surf? Really, is close. <laughs> no, he's uh, he he's he rides the waves. man. He rides like the feet. spectrum. Like he doesn't. Yeah, he with his feet. He doesn't have this, like a board. Right. Okay. We will do the reign of the Superman <laughs> at some point or another, or I could just tell you that. None of them are Superman and is a lame. So Superman didn't throw Doomsday into the sun? No. This is all dumb and pointless. Why would they do this? I don't know. This is so stupid. That's later. That's, That's later. This is, they, they didn't even know they were going to do that. I know. Until like, after this. So They just they clearly had no idea what they were doing. No. It's so weird. And that's funny because it was a room like, of like... Really out. I know. It was a room of like ten people who had like a whiteboard that had a timeline of everything they were doing. That's what happens when you when you follow through with a joke you made. You know what this story feels like? What's that? This story feels like they got down to the wire. Yeah. And they're just like, guys... We we've, we've run out of ideas. Yeah, we're we out finally of we finally need to kill Superman. How do we do it? I don't know. Let's think on it for a while. The deadline's in a week. <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, all right, we'll yeah. we'll have uh, this thing come out of the ground and uh, Justice League will try and fight it, but, but it doesn't. Will, and then Superman will fight it, and he dies. Wow. We, we yeah. have to make it's that just into so strong. that's like twelve issues though. We have to make that into a giant sprawl. All right, we'll pad it out of it. Yep. Yeah. And that's have all a, they had. Have a fight. At yeah, the guy's house, and Superman has to save the kid and the kids an allegory for all kids today who don't like comic books. Yes, yeah. we could do a and, whole and subplot the... where he goes into like the catacombs of Metropolis and fights these monsters because some kid spray painted a, a fluorescent S on the ground. Well, no, the kid's like parents or something were taken by these uh, subterranean dwellers. Yeah, so like, he does this. Yeah, because he's like the bat symbol is in the in the sky, which because Batman's down there, but if Superman's in the sky, then I'll put my S symbol down there, and he'll see it. And then Superman and rescues Lois Lane down there, and then he defeats the monsters. Wait, I thought it was the kid's parents, not Lois Lane. No, Lois is down there, too. She was investigating all that. Of course she was. God she damn was. it, Lois. No, she's she... everywhere. Yeah. Lois, stay home. You will make the world a safer place. No, how is she going to be an ace reporter if she stays home? All the stories are out there, Ben. I know all the stories are out there. I think there will be less stories if she is not out there. Oh. She becomes part of the story. Well, yes. That's, yeah. she does she's great. actually a terrible she's reporter. A, yeah, because she becomes the story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to get involved, Lois. No. Oh, he just breaks the dude's neck here. Yeah, he just kind of crushes his head. That's horrible. Yeah. Ugh. See, that ought to turn into paste. <laughs> a regular human? A just regular paste. person? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's rough. It's brutal. There's a lot less 
gore in this book than I would have expected. Well, it has to be approved by the Comics Code Authority. Well, yeah, but he did crush a man's skull in his hand. Yes, but and that... you see the guy like, oh! Yeah. But he doesn't say, I died. I mean, or a character say, you killed Mitch. That's true. Um, although, although you I would have nightmares about this. If I was like a terrific. Like eight-year-old, I'd be like, oh my god! Yeah, and I would true. imagine a monster crushing my head. By the way, another way to dreams. skirt the, like, not approval for death and stuff, the blood's all black. Yeah, I saw that. When yeah. You, except when when people are drawing blood and yes. blood comes out, it's black. But then when you see a wound, then it's red. Blood had already occurred. Right. That's well. You see, that's <laughs> fucking not, stupid. That's not violent. The act is the violence. Yeah, right. So this we is have just to, the result. We have yes. to bring the act down by making it black. Yep. But then we can bring it back. You know. Yeah. Like also, the then they see the consequences of violence. Look, this isn't him breaking his neck. He's a chiropractor. No. He's <laughs> realigning his spine. Oh, this is showing the after effects of what happens when a when a neck is broken. He dies, and his body goes into rigor mortis, and he just like, like cringes. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think I think this is the. Uh, oh, you're having a rough day. Oh, it's so much better, dude. Yeah, he's Thank just. You. Yeah, he's just so relieved. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, death of Superman, man. It's I can understand why yeah. this was so huge. Oh yeah. Because Superman dies. That's well, it. Yeah, that's that's all. the only but reason. I wasn't there, so I don't care. I wasn't no, there. wasn't there. I was. I there. remember my cousin who was into super uh, comic books telling me that Superman exploding. was going to die. There we go. But do. And I was like, Superman's gonna die? What? Yeah. How could that even happen? It's like, that's a huge thing. It's, it's what's happening, man. Yeah. Get with the, get with the now. Yeah. I, I realize, I don't care, because I was already aware that Superman died after I was aware that they brought him back. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That so would have changed like, everything. So who cares? <clears throat> Our Lady Peace wrote a song called Superman's Dead. No, oh, no. Where uh, it was about how, like, yeah, don't cement yourself in that yeah. time. <laughs> The song itself is also cemented in time, so it doesn't really help. But yeah, it's like, really bad, though. it's funny because it like represents the time. It's like, why are we in this period in time? Like, Superman's dead of all things. Like, right. It's not really like a, a point in the song, but it's the name of the song. Right. Okay. Um, and why I I is in is my it? head. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Did they sell a, like a bajillion of these? Did people like buy like fifty copies? Yes. Or in there? Yeah. Yes. This is like one of the first times where they were like. You better get your copies because there's. No, but they like mass produced it, right. so like unless all of them are destroyed, it will be valueless. Right. And it is. Um, I opened mine and like I bought two because my parents were like you gotta go to the comic book store. Like that was the first time my parents had ever told me that it was cool. <laughs> They're like we gotta get you to the comic book store. I just read the I just read the Star Ledger. The Superman's gonna die today. And you gotta go get. And we went and like there was the like an altar of like it was like a like a <laughs> it was like a cardboard made. Yeah. Uh, rack with like a big ass that was bleeding and like all the poly bagged and I show up and it's filled I've never seen the comic book store ever until free comic book day uh -huh. like 20 years later filled with people like this and they were all and people were like it was like Mushnik's florist shop after they got the Audrey 2 <laughs> where they were like hand over fist handing money and grabbing other I want comics. flowers and plants <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I might, yeah, I'll buy twice as many and they're just grabbing comics and I'm like what is happening in this Willy Wonka crazy factory of bullshit and like just fistfuls of money and, yep. and, and everyone's reading them yeah, right? yeah and they're like oh look at this and like super and like Pat the guy who was running the comic store was like ha 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 <laughs> well, I actually don't it's... like that flag. No, like, what? Is a flag. I'm sorry. That's fucking awesome. Are you out of your goddamn mind? That's the only That's good thing for this book. That, that whole wind, image is amazing. That wind has to be blowing so hard to keep that there, and it's not. <laughs> How do you know? It's tattered. It's a thin cape. Yeah. It's Superman's cape. Yeah. It's not that thin. It's his blanket. Could when he was a boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not paper. It's made of Kryptonian but there's, fibers. There's, there's lines in the sky. It's wind. It's very windy. Yeah. It's not that windy. How do you know? Look at her hair. Look at her hair. Look at her hair. hair. It's like, man. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's kind of getting tunnel. blown yeah. to the side. Her hair's no, like that the entire thing. The entire time. She's been in a helicopter like during this story. Her hair's everywhere all throughout this book because it's windy. Man. No. Also, look at those nipples. They're standing at full attention. <laughs> Yeah, that's because Superman's chilly. Because it's windy. That's because Superman is excited. For the first time in his life, he is an opponent. <laughs> but no, Ben, you're wrong. That flag is awesome. Yep. Anyway, see you guys next time. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm wrong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's Superman. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm
And I'm like, okay, I'll get this. And like, I start to open it. And my, and my like, one of, I think both of my parents came. Let's both go. <laughs> we'll encourage my boy. And like, they're like, what are you doing? Don't open it. And I'm like, why? It's a comic. They're like, they're like, no, you have to, you have to save one. It'll be there. And so we got two. And like, I put one away. And then like, it, I don't remember. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. To be honest with you, oh, but it's gone. Oh, it's, it's gone. It's not like my parents took it and put it in a safety deposit box. It's gone. <laughs> Right. And by the way, good riddance. Because like, if I want it again, I can go to the goddamn comic book store and go get the one that they put on the shelf on that day for twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, it was three or two when it came out, but like, it's so it's still like, it's yeah, still a crazy it's still a crazy increase. Because like a three dollar comic worth twenty dollars, that's insane. Yeah, that is but insane. it's not worth like thousands of dollars. No. Exactly. No. The funny thing is, I. Like, I would like to get my copy back. Like, I'd like to get Superman 75. So I can open it and get my poster and black arm. My, right. By the way, my copy didn't come with a black arm band. And I was like, Fuck. gypped. That's bullshit. Wow. Yeah. And you, you know why? Got a and been like, hey, where's my arm band, my fucker? And yeah, and you would have been like, get the fuck out of here. Because he was an asshole. <laughs> This is not the guy who runs Funny Books. This is a guy who ran an old comic book store. Well, my first comic book store. Before right. they closed down. And then I was like... I guess I'll not buy comics anymore. And then I found another one, Funny Books, like up the road. That was Pegasus, Pegasus Enterprises, <laughs> and their 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 uh, their store sign was like was a fucking Pegasus. Oh like, no! Like it was, but it was like drawn by like the guy who drew like those fucking Forgotten Realms or like like Conan. Where was this? It was in Putin. Okay, it's across from Don's. Where there is now, there. where there used to be another. Comic I remember book store. going to a comic book store with you a long time ago. No, no, it was, it, it no, closed. I've never been too since. It closed when I graduated. When we graduated yeah. high school. Yeah, yeah. And it was just this fucking picture of like a Pegasus against like a pink background with a moon, and it was like. <laughs> 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 and I never really questioned it until like recently, like within the past couple of years, where I'm like, what? Because <laughs> because Patty stands for Pegasus. No, it never occurred to me how like lame a Pegasus how is. How dumb that is. Yeah, like or even like a Minotaur would have been cool, a or Minotaur a Centaur. Would be sweet. So what happened to it? Nothing wrong with Pegasus. What? The store. Oh, he was looking at his finances and he went, "I made exactly as much money in the store as I did selling my books online." Closed store. Yep. 